Hey, what's up? Okay guys, remember not to talk about leaks in the video, or else that will come after me. So, from the moment I discovered Weathering Waves, I was always wondering just how this game's scope and multiplayer experience overall was going to look like on the release and beyond. So I made a post on Reddit and visited different Discord servers, asking people how would they feel about Kuro investing in this area. Surprisingly, a lot of people suggested group dungeons or even raids, though I personally believe raids specifically are too big in scale to put into a game like Weathering Waves. Don't get me wrong, I would personally love them, but Weathering Waves is not World of Warcraft, it's not going to be an MMO. However, having said that, I believe something can be done in the form of group dungeons. Say for example there's this world quest you want to do. You go to the target area and there you find some other bozo trying to do the same quest. You send an invite, form a group and enter the instance. You proceed to clear trash mobs, defeat the boss, collect the loot, clear the quest. Sounds familiar? Then you add each other, say goodbyes, log off, go to bed, wake up, log back on and proceed to never talk to each other ever again. Also sounds familiar? In all seriousness though, it all sounds pretty good, but there is a gameplay complication of sorts, which is Weathering Wave specific. It's the Concerto effect system. I won't go in depth, but in essence the Concerto effect is a mechanic that takes place when you switch characters. As you can guess, you need at least to be able to control two characters in order to be able to switch between them. Now, to me that's very easy to solve, just let people control multiple characters, with a simple limitation of people not being able to pick the same character between their parties. And problem is solved. Beyond this minor inconvenience, I don't really think there's anything stopping Kuro from implementing such a change into the game. At least technically. Because there is still a question that needs to be answered, and that is, is it worth it for Kuro to add this change? It's not enough for the players to want it, it has to be worth it for Kuro monetarily wise. Now, this is a bit of a company specific question. Kuro might consider it worth it, whereas some other company might not. So, to close this section, I believe dungeons can work, but raids not so much. Whatever Kuro decides to do, it is important not to punish people who prefer to play a certain way. In the end, whether a player decides to clear content solo or with friends should be his choice and should not be forced to choose either of them. Another idea that was thrown by the community was guilds, or clans, or teams, or clubs, or whatever. I will be frank, I have no idea what to think of guilds. At first glance, guilds sound amazing. To form a group of people playing together, talking about the game, throwing memes around, becoming friends and in general just having fun. But in reality, at least from my experience in other games, guilds tend to fall into one of these two categories. The first is that they turn out to gradually shift into a more and more hardcore environment, where people start competing over spots in teams or raids, with the chat messages eventually consisting of exclusively what time the raids are taking place and which people will be participating. Or maybe I have just played too much World of fucking Warcraft. The second scenario is the other extreme, where the guild atmosphere is much more casual, and for a while this will probably be perfect for a game like this, where it's not supposed to be hyper competitive. But again from my experience, this type of guild eventually dies out. As it turns out, casual players tend to not be that attached to the game in the first place, and the ones who do end up staying, don't tend to play the game all that much anyway, which can lead to the guilds at feeling kind of dead at times. Or maybe I have just played too much World of fucking Warcraft. Whatever happens in the end with the guild system, what I firmly believe Kuro should not do is to attach guild exclusive rewards to them. Remember that there are players that would rather play the game solo and without much interaction with others. If you have any kind of rewards that would require having a guild to be collected, you would essentially be punishing these people. I don't think I need to say why that would not be good. So in my opinion, putting a guild system in the game can work just fine, as long as it doesn't force players to play a certain way. Give the players the chance to choose how they play. Now, I don't think you can make a video about multiplayer without any mention of PvP at some point, but judging from the answers I got in my search, I think it will be a waste of time, since I don't think I saw even a single person saying he would like to have it in the game. Further than that, I think this would change the game too much, and in a way that the devs don't intend to. And this sums up all I wanted to say. One of the reasons I made this video was because I'm an ex-Genshin player, and without trying to throw shade at the game, I was left underwhelmed with the co-op experience there. It wasn't bad or anything, it was just okay. But I have always felt Hoyovers could do so much more in that department. That was until I realized they don't care. Anyway, that's all for now. I would love to hear your opinions in the comments below. Thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and for more vid videos, 
see you in the next. Something you need?